Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be showing you three different effective methods that you can use to create engaging and unique YouTube scripts. The first method is to head over to ChatGPT and for this method we'll be creating a very unique and customizable prompt that you can use to get the best results when it comes to creating YouTube scripts. For this YouTube script that used the prompt, you are now an expert YouTuber and you create engaging and captivating content around the best places to travel on a budget. Now of course you can change this around to any topic in which you create content around. Your latest YouTube video is about how to travel to Japan for less than $1,000. And again, you can change this to whatever topic you would like the um, AI to create a script about. With this information, create the most engaging and interesting 1,000 word YouTube script and include only factual information. I wanted to add the 1,000 word limit just because sometimes these scripts can be a little bit shorter. And I also included um, factual information because I want the AI to really go out and pull information that's factual and true. So let's go ahead and run this input and see what is the output that we're able to get back. So this is the output in which we get back and I've checked the words and it's a little bit less than 1,000 words. It's about 600 words. So if you wanted to, you can always go ahead and copy and paste specific sections back into ChatGPT and ask it to expand on that section. But overall, we got a pretty good um, YouTube script. So first it talks about Japan, then it talks about the actual content of the video about how to travel to Japan for less than $1,000. They talk about accommodation. They talk about um, how you can get around uh, Japan the most efficient and cost effective way is by using the Japan Rail Pass. This pass allows you to use um, the bullet train and other things. Okay, so you got some nice tips in which you can use. Then they talk about accommodation. They also talk about food and the best places to visit in Japan on a budget. So and then they go a little bit deeper as to what are those specific places. And you also get some traveling tips. So you get a lot of different information here that you can use in your video if you're creating a video about how to um, travel to Japan on a budget. So that prompt is actually pretty good. And again, you can always go ahead and customize this prompt for your own use case. It's always good to prime the AI by saying you're an expert YouTuber and you create engaging and captivating content and also including a very specific um, instructions such as writing a 1000 word YouTube script and only include factual information that can really pull out some really good info from the AI. So that's the first prompt um, in which you can use in the first method. Let's go ahead and try the second method. Also, I would like to take this time to let you know that my six figure YouTube course is now open for enrollment. So if you would like to see exactly what I did to grow this YouTube channel from zero subs, making zero dollars per month to making upwards up to $15,000 per month just from this small YouTube channel, then I'll leave a link for the free 30 minute training in the description below this video. So let's open up a new chat here and we'll be using one of the pre-built chat GPT prompts by AI PRM. This is a chat GPT prompt Chrome extension tool. So essentially all you have to do is um, connect that Chrome extension with your chat GPT and you have access to a bunch of different um, prompts. Some of them are good. Some of them are kind of okay, but it's really nice for you to get a, um, a quick prompt that you can use for your specific use case. So let's go ahead and try to use this YouTube script creator. And again, we're, we're going to do the same title so we can really um, see which output is able to give us a better YouTube script for our use case. So again, we're going to be talking about how to travel to Japan for less than $1,000. So this is the output in which we got back from the pre-built prompt. And actually the content is pretty good, I must say. You get the narrator, you get some opening scenes, some footage that you can add into um, your specific um, video, which really allows you to put everything together, especially if you're creating a faces video, then you can use these prompts to help you then go ahead and input specific videos. So it talks about Japan at the beginning. The format is kind of the same um, in terms of the um, first prompt that we did, which I created. But I got to say, and I'll, if I'm being totally honest, I kind of like this prompt a little bit better. Reason why I like it is because it seems more human like, and it seems as though you'd be able to follow this prompt word by word and be able to create a very human sounding uh, script compared to the one in which I generated. But I do think that they have some nice transition words and it just sounds a little bit more human like compared to the first output in which we got back. So this was about 500 words. So it's a little bit less than the first output in which we generated. So I would recommend kind of doing both of these um, methods, trying the first method by using your own custom prompt, but you can also go ahead and try using the pre-made prompt to see which um, prompt gives you the better output, maybe you can go ahead and use both and then combine them together to get um, the content that you need for your YouTube script.
So that's my second method that you can use to help you get a YouTube script using ChatGPT. Now, the third method is to actually go ahead and paste that specific um, YouTube topic onto Google. And we're going to try to find an article that talks about that specific topic. So once you found a comparable blog post um, that's very similar to a YouTube video topic, just go ahead and copy that URL. And then we're going to head back over to ChatGPT. And we're going to tell ChatGPT using the following URL, turn the blog post into an engaging and interesting YouTube video script. And then we just want to go ahead and paste that URL into ChatGPT. Most people don't actually know that ChatGPT is really good at being able to um, understand URLs. So you can actually go ahead and paste URLs and be able to get output from it. So as you can see here, ChatGPT is going ahead and um, giving us a engaging YouTube video script based upon that blog post. And there you go. Your YouTube video script has now been generated using ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and see how much words it is. So it's not very long. So maybe you can actually go ahead and play around with these prompts to help you get some better outputs. So let's go ahead and try a different prompt and see if we're able to get more longer, in-depth, and more engaging YouTube video script ideas. To do this, I'll be combining the first prompt that we use with the last method. So you're now an expert YouTuber and you're creating engaging and captivating content around the world. Sorry, around the best places to travel on a budget. Your latest YouTube video is about how to travel to Japan on a budget because that's mostly what the article is about. With this information, create the most engaging and interesting 1000 word YouTube script using the information provided in this blog post. And I went ahead and entered a URL for that blog post. So let's go ahead and run this input and see if we're able to get some pretty good outputs. Okay, so here's the output in which we got back much longer than any of the other outputs that we've um, gotten back. So it's about 617 words, still not 1000 words, but definitely much longer than the previous outputs. And um, I don't really think that it necessarily followed this article. And I think that's because you gave it a lot of information from before, but it did use that article for inspiration. It does have some other information in um, that's included in here that's not included in this article if I cross reference. But again, I just think it used it as a reference while in our previous prompt, when we gave it less information, it used all of that information from that specific article. So I think it's just about playing around with your prompting and maybe um, finding that middle ground where you're giving it some information beforehand but also but then also giving it some room so that it can grab some information from the blog page that you would like to turn into a YouTube video script. It really depends on your objective. If you're just trying to turn a specific blog post page into a YouTube script, then I would copy that URL and just tell it to turn this URL into a YouTube script and not give it as much information. But if you want to use that information from those specific blog posts, but you also want to add some new information that you may want to do a longer um, prompt like this to allow it to add some new content rather than just copying the content that's in the blog post. All that's left is now for you to go ahead and start recording your content or pop this into a text to video tool and you'll be able to have an engaging video to go along with your script. As always, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.